hand over to Sophia to address our congregation today. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here tonight with you um, for the first time. And congratulations on your Jubilee 50 years of serving the community. It's absolutely fantastic. This is my first time attending. And it's been fantastic to be a part of such a wonderful celebration of worship, of light, of music, dancing, and of course, delicious food. I'm particularly honoured to join you on VJ Cassidy celebration. The fires that burn in the churches of Ravana all over the world tonight serve as a reminder of our need to extinguish the evils facing our society of the need to defeat poverty, injustice, hate, and to attack our own shadows and bad habits. Of the deeper significance of that battery is powerful truth. Goddess Durga embodies resilience and strength. She signifies the importance of the female divine and women's empowerment. This celebration also marks the changing season and resilience in the face of adversity. Frustratingly, we find ourselves once more in the midst of a crisis. And I want to take this opportunity, if I may, to thank the Hindu community for your contribution to Britain, for everything you do for us, whether that's culture, business, the financial sector, the NHS, supporting your community in touching the cost of living. Your contribution to Britain is huge. And I just want to humbly say a big thank you to you. You're an integral part of Britain, the past, the present, and very much the future. Um, and it's time for Britain to stand tall again, to believe in ourselves again, to chart a new course, and to get our future back. My parents worked their socks off and gave me the gift of opportunity. And that gift drives me to make sure that no one anywhere in this country is held back by their circumstances. And I don't think those values, those aspirational values are special. They're in all of our communities. The opportunity to get on is what everyone wants for their family. We tell our children, work hard and you achieve anything. Work hard and you will get a fair chance. My parents, by the way, didn't just believe this, it comforted them. Uh, but I fear it's not true. After 12 long years, our spirit is ground down. And when I talk to working people now, they often tell me they work harder and harder just to stand still. The graft can't provide their family with the sense of security that they need. But they're worried that their kids won't have a better life than them. And what's that say about our country, about Britain, when families worry like this about their children's future? It says you deserve a government that's on your side. I don't want anyone in this country to be held back by their circumstances. I know that many people are targeted based on their religion, and there's been a rise in hate crimes in recent years. I'm so tired of our divisive politics. I'm saddened by the division we've seen on the streets of Leicester and Birmingham in recent weeks. Violence and hatred spoke by extremists exploiting social media. And we must all together stand firm against all attempts to spread hate. Hindu phobia has absolutely no place in our society anywhere. And we must all fight this together. <laughs> Nor will we tolerate the far right attempting to exploit humans. We have more that unites us than divides us. Our religion, our places of worship and symbols must and will be respected. A Labour government will bring people back together at the end of this divisive politics. So I'm pleased to join you in your prayers um, on the 10th of these incredible 10 days. I've enjoyed having a go at the Dandigar 
Please enjoy the rest of the evening and be, on behalf of the Labour Party, may I wish you and every one of your families a happy DJ Dash of Me. Thank you so much. And thank you for my guests. Thank you. Thank you, Sophia. Big round of applause for Sophia once again, please. Now, the best of all, any team members, we line up there to get a photo of Sophia before.